I think that the history of the PCC's performance undermines the whole concept of self-regulation. And rereading this evidence, because you sent it to me at the end of last week, I noticed that I was speaking up for self-regulation. But I wouldn't anymore. I don't think this is an industry that is interested in or capable of self-regulation. And uh, I think... I think probably at this point I was at the edge of that conclusion but hadn't quite come to it. I think I felt that perhaps the problems which I'd seen in the PCC, particularly with handling the original outbreak of phone hacking in 2006-07, the McCann case and the Max Mosley case, might have been the result of the particular chair and the particular director. And for me there was a turning point in, this is April 09, we published the Gordon Taylor story in July and in November the PCC published the second report on phone hacking. Different personnel, different chair, uh, the former deputy, I think the same director but the man who is now director was involved in the production of that report, Stephen Abel, who I regard as a good man. But the report was terrible, just an awful piece of work. You know my editor resigned from the code committee in protest. He went on the radio and said this is worse than useless, which I think was an understatement. And, and that shifted me across the line. I just think I, I, I do not trust this industry to regulate itself. And I say this as I love reporting. I want us to be free. You've got a huge intellectual puzzle here in front of you. How do you regulate a free press? But it obviously doesn't work. We're kidding ourselves if we think it would.